is still higher. I feel like I'm cold. Maybe, oh, why did I sit on that chair? So I'm the taller? So the chair's in. Because I'm taller. So if I sit on the taller chair, I'll be taller. Oh yeah. I had a really weird logic in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I was thinking. Ooh. And I'm the Plonka. <laughs> and I'm the Bogan. <laughs> and we decided to collab. We've had individual channels previously, and um, we uh, have been best friends for about. <laughs> We've been best friends for about four years. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. think it's close to our fourth anniversary, but we're not sure. Because, <laughs> you know, we celebrate our anniversary. Yes. Our friend anniversary. Oh. So, yeah, we just decided yeah. to do a, a startup video just showing, like, questions and doing, like, it's... Getting to know of, us, kind of. Yeah. Because our individual channels are different. Like, yeah. I did um, a weight loss journey, um, and you did, you know, beauty, just beauty, yeah. lifestyle, fashion, random, typical beauty yeah. YouTuber type of thing. And for, like, a lot of you guys out there, you'd be aware already that there's not a lot of Australian vloggers. Like, mm. there is, but there's not. No. Like, compa you look compared to, like, you know, UK, you've got Zoella, some yeah. people of Chatter, Alfie, and, like, like, so many people. Even the, the vloggers that we do have, they're all just by themselves, or yeah. maybe they'll vlog their family or stuff. There's no really Australia doesn't really channels. have a collab. Yeah, yeah. We're a collab. That we know of. We're an Oz collab. Yeah. Well, it's kind of an Oz because I'm a pom, technically, so. Hence the Rippin. names. Rippin. Hence the, the names. We haven't talked about the names. Well, we've mentioned so, it. Did we? Well, I said Plonker and you're the Bonker. Oh, the yeah. Bonker. The, the, the Bonker! <laughs> not oh. the Bonker. I'm not the Bonker. Maybe on, maybe only the on Tuesdays. <laughs> you're a um, Bonker. Yeah, hence the Plonker and the Bogan. So we've got a typical. <laughs> I just went to say Bonker again. <laughs> you know what? We know what's on your mind then. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've just decided to collaborate, create some fun videos, so we're just going to really random things, gossiping, yeah. just random I just want to have fun. Yeah. That's my goal. Yeah. Having fun. Yeah. And with you. Yeah. Yeah. And we thought it'd be really fun, like, spend more time together and, like, <laughs> just hang and do fun things. So we thought we'd just do kind of, like, the best friend tag, so I've got questions. Yeah, we're doing a mix, actually. We're doing the best friend tag, and then mm. we're kind of splitting the video and doing a quick lightning and round. Well, not really a yeah. lightning round, actually. Like a friendship test. It's like test. a friendship test, yeah. kind of. So, so we're going to test yeah. each other's knowledge of each other. So, so we're going to tell you guys things about us, yeah. and then we're going to test you on how well you know us. Not <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going to test each other. I'm going to be <laughs> at um, answering your questions. I think I'm going to too. We can <laughs> together. Like, this is not a testament to our real friendship. No. With how our answers no. go. And now, is it? No. Right, is our friendship going to be over? It might be over in this channel, just maybe. And you guys will never have another video ever again. They're like, this might be Thank the final you video. <laughs> they're like, these guys don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. I love how I pointed to you specifically. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> okay, so question one is how and when did you meet? So uh, we studied together at a the Actors Conservatory. So it's um, studying drama, theatre, etc. etc. Yeah. Both um, screen and stage. Yeah. But we were like we never hung out outside of ACON mm. until a couple of months before we actually graduated and then we became really good friends. Yeah. We never hated each other. So she <laughs> we never hated each other, but it was one of those friendships at the beginning that was just, oh, that's good. Let's to be it. honest, let's go into this. Like, let's oh, go yeah, into this. Yeah, we're deep, <laughs> like, diving in. Um, I honestly thought you were a little bit of a princess. Yeah. Because I used I to wear did. heels all the time. No, sure. <laughs> Come on now. The local chick wears a heel. This chick <laughs> came in, like, I'm not even, Platforms. I'm not even exaggerating. <laughs> These were like, when she walked into class, I was like... Does she think she's auditioning for the wrong man? Like, this is school. <laughs> I don't know. Don't know yeah. about that. Um, so, yeah, I had a, um, a look at you first when you first walked in the room, and I thought, not going to judge, yeah. but totally judging. judging. You know how you like judge, but you you're not going to judge, but you really are judging. I forget what my first impression of, was you, of you. Well, to be honest, I was in amongst many of other people. I just, yeah. And I suppose, like, yeah. the first time we probably met and, like, could say our friendship blossomed from there was when we all went out 
and it was just me and Katie at the end of it, all the other girls had gone home and we were partying. With our respective partners. Yeah, with Elliot and Who Matt. we are still with, yeah. I am now married to and Yeah, you're going married nearly, to him now. You're going on four years or three years, are you? Um, nearly four. Four, yeah. But yeah, and then we ended up just hanging out heaps after, after college, mm. after the graduation. Okay, so we'll move on to question two. So yes. what is your favourite memory together? That's a sweet question. A nice um, question. We might have different memories too. Yeah. What's yours? Oh, that's a hard one because we've had so Ooh. many good ones. I have to probably pick, now this is, mm, this is just what's come to my head first, um, is the night when we first went to Matt's apartment. Oh yeah. yeah. And it was, was it New Year's? New Year's. Yeah. New Year's was really, really good. That would have to be mine too actually. Yeah. Hot tip, if yeah. you live in an apartment, eyes on the other apartments. Yeah. We pretty much saw a live sex show that night oh. and it made Katie and I's night. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you don't want to admit you're that kind of person, but we're kind of that person. But it person. was so funny, and it was just so like, holy crap, is this happening? Oh my god. It was kind of weird because at that stage, this was when um, school had just finished. Yeah. It was like literally a couple of weeks after we'd just gone to the club and yeah. really known each other. So it was kind of a bit like, is this happening? Are we friends? It's kind of going a bit beyond friends, like do friends sit here and watch other people have sex? <laughs> yeah, it's happening. Um, it happened. And that's what life is now. We yeah. sit together and just watch porn. Yeah. Do we? No. No, we don't. <laughs> do we? Just live porn. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, that was a really good night <laughs> and even with our partners that was a really fun night because we danced with it our was. partners and danced yeah. together and we just The were, foursome, yeah. the awesome foursome. The awesome foursome. It's always corny when people say that, like, <laughs> oh, we have couple dates, <laughs> but we actually really... They're good yeah, dates. So they, they were and good I think dates. another one of mine is when we all played strip uno. <laughs> That this guy really was sexual. never to be spoken about again. So, question three. Um, <laughs> I wrote this down it completely wrong. The question is, how would you describe each other in one word? And I've got deceive each other in one word. <laughs> how would you deceive each other? <laughs> uh, um, so I just, would not. <laughs> um, no, describe each other in one word. I would describe you as... Vivacious. What is that? What does that even mean? What? I, don't I don't even know. What that I was just gonna ask you. I mean, I, I think vivacious is like bleh, if I do it. If I, if I had to do that again, bleh. <laughs> if I had to do an action for a word, that would be that. No, that's not the word I want. Um, <laughs> just based on the actions yeah. that I've seen you do. No. <laughs> um, I'd describe you as. Do you know what I would say the word for you what? is? Floral. Floral. <laughs> a little bit. Because you like flowers on your head. I do like flowers. And you're like a little pretty, I have a lot of flowers pretty everywhere. Pretty lady. I do have flowers everywhere in what this What is room. it with me and <laughs> my hairs in my mouth? I think it might be the fluff from the white Rug. Egg. Yeah. Um, I would describe you as passionate. I could agree. It's, it's everything. So your, your career values, your relationship with Elliot, your overall persona, like you get passionate about things. Mm. Yeah. I actually want to change mine and say feminine. Feminine? Yeah. I like feminine. I think you're feminine, <laughs> like it's a mixture of floral. Okay. Like, because feminine's like florally, so I would say you're feminine because I like that. you are all things girly. Yeah. <laughs> feminine and passionate. So, next question What annoys you the most about the other person? This is a good question. This is gonna cause fights, people. <laughs> See, I feel like mine for you is what annoys me about myself as well. Because I what? do the same thing. I think, <laughs> what is it? We're both perfectionists to the point where we take forever to do it. Uh, like, example, <laughs> A, this setup. This setup, but B, we were doing photos before and I was like, this yeah. line in the background is annoying the heck yeah. out of me. And I was like, now I have a double chin. Like, we're, I'm very particular and you're very particular and it annoys me about both of us. Yeah. <laughs> I would agree with that. I have I've got one that's gonna probably be a little bit touchy. Yeah, go for it. Literally touchy. Touchy. Yeah. You're too touchy. No, I'm joking. Um, no, I have got one. I have got one. Um, you like to. You're a bit of a. Um, what's the word? Cement foot. Sometimes when you're driving, with the brake. Cement foot. Yeah. A bit heavy. Like I stop too fast. Yeah. Like, like you, you bunny hop a little bit. 
just yeah. a little bit. I do that a lot. <laughs> but it's funny. I, I find it funny, but also at the same time, it makes me want to drive. If that makes sense. No, I didn't say throw up. No, but it makes me want to drive. Yeah. But other, other than that, driving is annoying too. Other than that, you're perfect. Aww. So are you. <laughs> Okay, next question is, um, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Now, is this excluding previous countries we've been to? Or is this overall, if, you have, if you've ever wanted to go to a country, where would it be? Is that what the question is? I think if you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would you go? Even if you've been there before. Right now? That's a hard question. Um, even if you've been there before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And why would you want to go there right now? I know what mine is. You go then. Um, I would want to go to Mykonos in Greece right now oh. and have cocktails on the beach and just lie down and just sit down See, and judge people. that's a good one. <laughs> Greece is a good... <laughs> I don't judge people. Um, that's a good one. I like yeah. Greece. Oh, I've never been. It's like it's warm, like I can feel the heat and it makes me want to sit like by the beach with a cocktail. See, it's opposite for me. Because we're coming up to Christmas now, mm -hmm. I... <sighs> it's a toss up. Mm -hmm. Can I have a toss-up? Yeah, of course okay. you can. I'll give you that. The, just once. The sentimental side of me says I want to be in the UK because mm -hmm. there's nothing like a, a UK Christmas. Yeah. Um, coming to Oz was that would be nice. Really hard for Christmases. Mm -hmm. um, but the <laughs> other part of me really wants to go to Canada again. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to uh, Whistler and Whistler. yeah, right. <laughs> and I just really love it. And it's mm -hmm. coming into the cold season, yeah. so that sounds good. Too. Yeah. I don't know, I just, I've, I'm feeling you want to be in the cold. nostalgic and like Aww. I want to go home yeah. into the cold yeah. and it's coming into the summer here. So we're like dealing with 32 <laughs> degree here. You can tell where we're from. You want to go to the cold and I want to go to the heat still. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool. Okay, next one is, what is our favourite inside joke? Go we don't really... <laughs> go 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 avocado. <laughs> that's like the one we've had at the moment. Yeah. Like it's hard because we don't really have one that's all the time. No. Our jokes change consistently. They'll like always we had the something. original one from Actors Con. What was the original? The Colgate one. Oh yeah, the we did an ad on um in during our acting studies and one of the words was convenient tasty and every time we hear the word convenient we both want to say tasty, tasty. <laughs> and you had to repeat it so many times oh, too God. like the takes just before i was ever. so over listerine strips by the end of that <laughs> your tongue becomes numb after oh. a while it's like mm, you convenient. get actually yeah tasty <laughs> Yeah, but other than that, we don't really have inside jokes. No. It's just it they changes. just happen. Yeah, Naturally. and then we'll forget about it, and then a new thing will take its place. Yeah. <laughs> um, who takes longer to get ready? Oh, that's easy. You. Yeah, me. For sure. <laughs> okay, so next question is, what is your favorite season? So, I'm gonna say yours is winter, because yeah. you love winter fashion. Yeah, I love layering. I absolutely love layering. Yeah. But at the same time, I hate being cold. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but, but I mean, that's you the point of layering. Up. Yeah, you can warm up. That's true. It's that's... hard to cool down, whereas yeah. it's, it's easier to warm up. But I do love the way summer makes me feel when I go to the beach and I get really hot and sweaty. The way summer makes you feel. Yeah. So I'm very much. I like, like winter. Yeah. That's my favorite. Maybe I'll go spring because it's in the middle of both. <laughs> um, sitting on the It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Uh, next question is, do you prefer pants or dresses? That's a hard one. Because dresses hide the fat mm. layers. At the moment, like because I'm heavier than what I used to be, I prefer dresses. Yeah. Because they're a lot more flattering on me and pants are really hard to find. Yeah. Because I have a huge butt and a smaller waist and then I just end up getting like a but duck tail. Like, hey, but. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. I When my body is like on point, mm. I love pants. pants. Yeah. But for girl who got a figure, mm. I was gonna say it and figure. I um, like dresses at the moment, especially yeah. tight fitting dresses. Maxi oh really? See, yeah. I like maxi dresses. Yeah. So is it, yeah, the kind of dresses. Especially coming into too. summer, mm -hmm. I uh, in winter I agree, sucky in dresses because mm. I wear a lot of sucking in dresses to work. But you've got that hourglass figure, mm. so it suits you. I, I still wear Spanx. <laughs> That's my secret. <laughs> <Shrink>. <laughs> What is something weird that you eat? See, I don't really 
have anything weird? I don't know if I have anything weird either. If we're talking weirdest thing I've ever tried, mm -hmm. it would be a cow's tongue. Oh, gross. In Japan, and that was made to eat that. Okay. Well, but if we go with that, then I've had the weirdest thing I've had is sheep's milk ice cream in Greece. It's actually delicious. I don't know how I feel about it's that. It's really creamy. Do we own anything that is the same? Yes. We, we bought. Would. What did we buy that was the same? You you were like, oh, I really want to get that, and you bought it. We both bought it. We do that a lot. Yeah, we do do that we a lot. Have the, we have the same perfume at one point. There's yes. a bottle of perfume. Well, that's because I stole that off you. Like, I didn't literally steal your bottle, <laughs> but I stole the idea of you because yeah. I smelt it and I was like... <laughs> we are the lipstick. The um, <laughs> MAC lipstick. MAC syrup lipstick. That's the same. MAC syrup lipstick. MAC syrup MAC Can syrup I speak lipstick. today? <laughs> MAC syrup lipstick. <laughs> um, and then there's been clothes and stuff. That we bought that's the same. Lots of clothes. Yeah. And shoes. And shoes. We pretty much always do that because we have similar... But the thing is we have so different styles sometimes. We have different styles but we have similar taste in certain is things. Is that possible though? Yeah, I mean like individual items we will like together but we'll pair it with different things. True. If you could be on any TV show or movie, what would it be? Like, I want you to guess what mine is. Guess what yours is? Yeah. Okay. I know what yours is. You'd be Harry Potter, Hermione. Oh. That's not actually the first thing that came into my head. Oh. Think of the other thing I really love, a TV show I watch. Oh, far that I talk about all of, all the time. Game of Thrones. Mm. Khaleesi. It's a show that's not on air anymore. Oh, bloody hell. Um, I'm obsessed with it. Well, clearly... This friendship isn't real, is it? <laughs> um, you'll know. As soon as I tell you, you'll be like, oh yeah. Let me think about it. You guess mine. Okay. Um, a TV show. Am I thinking TV show or movie? The question says both, so I'm not going to hint okay. you. I'll, you I'll pick one me. of each. I'll pick one of each. Like, I don't even know if you have a favourite movie. Uh, you're losing points here. <laughs> like, this is my all-time <laughs> favourite movie. Oh, really? And people even tell me I look like this person. Oh, Titanic? Yeah. Yeah. Kate Winslet. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't look like her now, by the way, not cocky. No, you, you still um, do. I used to look a lot like her. You still like do. Um, What's my TV show, though? TV show? Um, Friends? Damn it! How did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> what role, though? Um, ooh, Rachel? Monica. 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 Yeah. yeah. But yeah, you might see I can't pick it. I don't know. I'm trying to think about it. It's about a, it. a classic 90s show. Classic 90s. Friends. Uh, mm -mm. It's it's supernatural. Oh, see, I don't really watch it, so I don't really think it's going to resonate with me. I know. I know. It's Buffy. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it, I knew that! Oh, Buffy. Uh, the second choice would be Xena. <laughs> well, I don't even know what that is, so I love Cena. <laughs> bow bow, I knew that one. That's right, it's a tricky one. So, next one is who is your celebrity crush? Are we doing both male and yeah, female? Yeah, we'll pick one male both, and one female. We're interchangeable. Yeah. I think my male crush at the moment is definitely Jason Momoa. Who the hell is that? Um, he's in Game of Thrones, um, the uh, Carl Drogo in the first season. He's Oh, yeah. But I've been watching Stargate Atlantis and he was in that before Game of Thrones and Ooh. my god is he sexy in that. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be the new Aquaman. I'm excited. Female at the moment is probably Margot Robbie. No, see, I'm getting really annoyed actually by how obsessed everyone is and they're really? like, oh, the Australian girl, oh, she's amazing, ah, oh. yes, she's amazing, but she's not the best actress I've ever seen. Like, no, I, she's hot. I like her, she's a good actress, but I think she's being hyped up a little yeah. bit. And when people get overly hyped, you start to hate it them. It really annoys yeah. me actually. Yeah. Like, I, I always go for the underdog. I okay. love a good so underdog yours? story. Um, girl yeah. for me. Yep. Always Emma Stone. Oh yeah, always. Yeah. Good always, choice. Always. Guy's hard because I don't really have one. Like, I never really look at a guy and go, damn, mm. um, you'd be my card. You know how you get like a, mm. like a card in marriage and mm -hmm. like that's the, the one you'd go with? Yeah. If I could make my own celebrity, it would be a mix. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, who's your mix? It would be... 
a mixture of sort of Seth Rogeny personality. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, what's the guy out of Superbad, the fat guy? The oh, really um, funny one. What's his name? Jonah, Jonah Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mixture of Jonah Hill's personality. Like mm -hmm. he's he's got like say Seth Rogen slash Jonah Hill personality. Because they're yeah. both funny, but I feel like Jonah Aww. Hill's got a sweet side to him. Yeah. That I really like. Um, body wise, oh bloody hell, I forgot his name. What's Magic it? Mike. Oh, Channing, Channing Tatum. Tatum. Yeah. <laughs> I'd probably yeah, pick that's a Channing good one. Tatum. But his personality is sweet as well. So he is lovely. And his wife is banging. Yeah. I just want him to grind on me. Yeah, I so, so do I. I just want him to grind. <laughs> Moving on, last question. So, um, if you could pick a name for me, so for each other, what would you rename each other as? So I'd choose your, you'd be Charlotte. Charlotte? Mm. Oh, I like that name. Would I be Charlie for short? No, Char. Char? Mm. Oh, I like that. That sounds exotic. Char? What would I call you? I don't know how I. I'm really impressed with how quick I yeah, got that. Yeah, you did that, that really way. fast. I looked at you and I was like, Charlotte. <laughs> oh, you're such a Katie. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like you need something like Belle. Yeah. No, I like Belle because it reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. That's that's what I was thinking of. That's yeah. The first thing that came to my head was Disney, and then the first I'm happy thing with that. Belle. I like Belle. I don't yeah. think that I'd really. But I feel like it'd I don't be feel like a bell. Like a bell is like a. I'm so nice and I walk mm. to the library <laughs> and I read books all day. I don't feel like that. No, it's just a nice I'm name. Bell. Bell. I feel like it's a Why sassy name. <laughs> I feel like it's a sassy name. I like bell. Do you? Yeah. All right, I'll take bell. Okay. I'll take bell on the chin. Yeah. Not Bella. Not Isabel. Just bell. That is the end of all the questions, yeah. but that's for you guys to get to know us just a little bit more. Yes, hopefully it was interesting. Yeah, now we get to the fun part. Where... Now we're going to test each other. <laughs> all right, can we be real here? Are we going to lose yes. friendship here? I hope not. What year and month oh. did I come to Australia? From the UK for you guys, if you don't know. I can't even think of the I've year. I've told you I how old I was. You were 18 or something, 17 or 18, weren't you? Was I? Wait, what are you really in now? I'm 2016. <laughs> oh, no, 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 you were young. You moved to Australia. Yeah. Sorry. Oh my god, my brain. Do you mean moved to Brisbane? Do you mean yeah, I meant Brisbane? I thought Brisbane. I had Brisbane in my head. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, 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 Australia. You moved to Australia when you were like um, 11 or something. You were quite what young. What year would that make it? So you would have been... I can't do math. <laughs> so what? Sixteen minus eleven. Um. 2005. Five. Two thousand five. Five. <laughs> I was told you. I do math for a living, guys, and I still can't get simple oh, math. Am I right though? For the year? No. No. You're close. You're, You're nine. You're ten. <laughs> Just pick a year, mate. Okay. <laughs> Not that old it was. Two thousand and four. Right. And what month? Oh, is that right? Okay. I don't um, know, is it? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm just gonna like shove it out here and be like December 2004. Nah. <laughs> but you were close. April 2004. Ooh, okay. What is my favorite thing to shop for? So oh just like general God. category. <laughs> I have a feeling it might be jewelry. Yeah. 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 Accessories, yeah. just in general. Accessories? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But mostly jewelry. Yeah. So I'll take that as a Correct. I mean, so. that was. <laughs> I literally, your last birthday present was just accessories. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of know you it's better like, than my subconscious. My subconscious. Yeah. My subconscious knows. My, you do. Knows yeah. me better than. Is knows you better than <laughs> I than I really know. Oh my god. I know what you mean. <laughs> my goal. But yeah, that was the best birthday present. Just like the bag, the jewelry, so good. If I had to live mm -hmm. on an island, mm -hmm. what food or what meal would I choose? What meal? So you only could live on this meal. Yeah. Okay. Is it your favorite food in general, or is it food you could just generally eat? I would say it's my favorite meal. Like a pasta dish? Am I getting warm? No. Mm. Wait, are you getting guesses? Hmm? Are we, are we guessing? Do we get the answer, or are we? I'm trying what to trick it. Here. Okay, I'm just, I, I literally have no idea, so I'm just gonna go just with Just think like, about English heritage. What do pommies love to do on a Sunday? Oh, Sunday roast! But what type? Um, a lamb roast? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pork 
talk with the pen oh, crackling. crackling. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Love a good pork roast. Yeah. If you can cook me a good pork roast, <laughs> then that's the way to your heart. That's the way to my... <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that's a really good one. I think I might have a similar one. <clears throat> no. Um, so second question is, this is probably easy too, because I talk about it all the time. What is my number one phobia? Oh, you've got a couple though. I would say the number one phobia though is the clusters. Yeah. 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 Glucal trypophobia. Glucal trypophobia. <laughs> Google trypophobia and you will see what I'm talking about. What is my middle name? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Because I always get confused. It's not as simple as the question may be asking. Is it Jean? It's um, not Jean. Am I 90? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because, oh my god, you're Jane. Katie Jane? It's a bit of a trick question. Because remember? You have two. The woman with a million names. Yeah, you have a couple. I always forget your middle name. I will be on completely honest with you and say that I have no idea. You got one right. Yeah, I remember Jane. Katie, Jane, another one that starts with A. Amanda! No. 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 Katie, Jane, three letters. <laughs> I don't remember. Ends in an N. <laughs> uh, Anne. Is it Anne? Mm -hmm. Oh, I really don't remember What's that. my third one? You have another one? Oh my god, I forgot you have a ton of names. This is why I don't remember. <laughs> so, what it's is my it? so Katie, Catholic name? Katie Jane Ann. Begins with an F. Freddy! Oh. No, I'm joking. It's not oh. Freddy. <laughs> okay. You thought it was Freddy! Was it Frederick? <laughs> no! I joke, I joke, I joke. Um, You're like, Fiona? Oh, no. <laughs> Am I Shrek's Fiona? No. Oh, I like Fiona. No, I don't know. I can't remember. Francis. Francis, that's right, it's a masculine name. A what? It's no. A, it's a masculine it's name. It's a shared gender neutral name. Is it? Yes. Oh, I like the spelling. I like the name for a female though, better than a male. Um, what is the first luxury item, so designer brand item, I've ever owned? Oh. It's fairly recent. Oh. Oh god. Um like brand name just yeah, yeah. yeah. Um it's sort of It's the sunglasses. I yeah. know that much, but I don't know the brand. Is it Gucci? No. Um I don't know. Just staring right at you two. Prada! <laughs> Prada! Prada baby. Yeah, I know that that was Yeah. Um, Alright. This one should be easy for you. Okay. What city was I born in? City in the UK. Like I don't know. Was, what city was I born in? Yeah, was I born in the UK? Wasn't it Glaconshire or something? Glaconshire! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. And it's not even a shire, I don't even think. Glacken Leave in the comments if Glaconshire is a shire. <laughs> <laughs> What's a shire? I don't even know. It's like a region. Oh, okay. So that's so like, that's like, um, Logan. Oh, I see. Okay. Or like, Redlands and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um... What's like Oxfordshire. It wasn't London. Yeah. It was London. Yeah. That was the first thing that came into my head and I was like, no, nah, that's too obvious. <laughs> oh, because my mum decided that, oh, that would be too obvious. I won't be back there. I'm going to make this hard. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that her best friend in the future of like 20 something years is not going to get this easily. <laughs> I wonder if you'd remember where I was born. What I know I you born? were like Maryborough. No. Like you grew up there. Around the Harley area. Bay. Nope. Okay. Whoop, whoop. The bush. Nope. I wasn't born in was Yep, that works. <laughs> yeah, I was born in Bundaberg. That's right, I knew it was one of them. <laughs> They're all around the same area. But that's not my question. That's not my question. Um, so. My question is, what was I obsessed with growing up? Well, when that's I was hard. Young? So, Harry Potter. That is one. I will take that. But I have a specific thing in mind, and it was even my title in grade 7 graduation. Like, you oh, know how bloody have you title? even told me that? You I haven't have. told me about- no, you have not told me about your bloody grade 7 uh, title. Not that, but I've told you what I was obsessed with growing up. I don't think you have. Mm -hmm. Boys. It's an animal. Oh, horses! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, running horses! Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> that was a bit tricky. Yeah. I love how I was like, boys. Yeah. Boys <laughs> What was I obsessed with? Boys. I wasn't obsessed with boys until I was about 15. 
then I was like, boy, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> to spend our for anniversary and now we're gonna pizza oh my gosh i'm excited i wish we had a pizza right here to cheers our yes. friendship too i want to do a mukbang let us know if you'd be interested in a mukbang yeah and if you don't know what it is google mm -hmm. we should just leave a link to google i swear like this whole video has been like if you don't know google google trypophobia don't do it Google <laughs> Mocknophobia. What did you say? Mocknophobia. <laughs> a mockna video. A mockna video. Oh dear. What did you say? Mukbang. Oh, I was close. Mukbang. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that was good. Yeah. Good video. Yeah. So that's pretty good. And much let us it. know if you guys want to see anything else as well because Yeah, give us ideas. Yeah. We have a few coming up and a few videos lined up. And tell us if we're bloody awful and we won't do anything we'll, ever again. Or we'll just work on it. We'll try. I love how I'm like, end it! And you're like, no, we'll, we'll work try. on it. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Oh my god, I just stop it. Did you? <laughs> I was like, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for our video. So yeah. We might sign off here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll sign off. We're going to go eat pizza. <laughs> Catch us all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> and our Claire just went off at the end. Oh, my friend is. Oh, <laughs> Can I need to fart again? Fart, I don't care. <laughs> I feel like the focus is fucked up again. Oh, that was a really moist burp. Do you know how to moist burps? Okay. Look. <laughs> you look like a jerk. <laughs> ah! You're honest. Oh, oh, oh it's something. something in my foot. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you giving it to me for? I'm sure you've got this in my foot. <laughs> okay. <laughs>